Hey, welcome back at Survival Kitchen and uh, welcome to my crib. Today I'm going to cook from home and uh, I'm going to do that with some barbecue recipes uh, the coming days. And the first recipe I have for you is uh, a beautiful uh, fish dish that we can do uh, from the barbecue. So the ingredients for today's dish, we need some tin foil, uh, we need some couchette, I got some pak soy here, a red onion, I got uh, some uh, bean sprouts, uh, ponzu soy, uh, curry, you can also use the sambal that we made earlier in the other episodes, and some spring onion, uh, I got some banana leaves, and I got some uh, red gunard, rode uh, pone uh, as we say in Dutch, a typical fish from the North Sea, but you can use any fish that you like, like uh, salmon if it's in season of course, or uh, a mackerel, any fish that you like. I'm going to use uh, uh, this beautiful gunners. Um, this fish uh, I'm going to clean myself. Of course you can leave that to your supplier, but I always, always like to watch where my uh, produce is from and if it's fresh. And this is as you can see beautifully fresh and with the bones I can make a beautiful fish stock. So that's why I have them like this. So I'm going to start off with cleaning the fish. So it's quite easy to uh, clean your own fish if you have the right uh, knives. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful fish fillets. And uh, as I said, the reason why I do that is uh, uh, I like to use uh, the whole produce. So there's no waste. I really hate waste. And uh, with your fish supplier, they will just throw it away. And for me, I'm just going to uh, use it to make a beautiful fish stock for any other uh, dishes that I'm going to make in the future uh, or just as a little bit of extra taste so uh, and it's quite easy to do as long as you have a, a sharp knife and you give yourself a little bit of room there uh, then it's uh, really easy to uh, clean your own fish and it's fun to do because you actually did the whole thing yourself so there we go one down and want to go. Any little bits of waste I'm just going to add in here, put some white wine in there that I still got left and um, uh, which is almost impossible of course in these times to have white wine left and some water and just bring it slowly to a boil, really slowly uh, so never never ever let it cook, just very slowly and all these beautiful flavors of the fish will get into your broth, get the, uh, the fish out and reduce it a little bit and you got a fantastic uh, base for a white wine sauce uh, for your soups etc etc so I'm gonna finish off cleaning the fish the skin needs to come off really easy to do you just do it like this a very small cut so you can grab the skin over there and instead of moving the, the knife you're gonna move the fish towards you so you're just gonna pull the fish towards you and there you go that's all you need to do and now we're gonna put that also in there and there's a little bit of a bone here that we're gonna get out so we're just gonna cut it out you see we got some beautiful fillets here as the French call it, uh, we call it rode bone uh, is ready and now I'm go just gonna chop up uh, some of the veggies that I'm gonna need so the red onion, I got the courgette I got the spring onions and the pak soy, that's all I'm going to need and I'm just going to chop things up.
almost there for the barbecue. The only thing that is left to do is building everything up. So, we have the Gronden, uh, the beautiful fish. Any fish again that you like. Uh, make it a bit of a sturdy fish, a fish with a lot of, uh, lot of power. So, uh, uh, got the couchette, the red onion, the, uh, the, char the, sorry, the spring onions, uh, the pak soy. I got some uh, bean sprouts here. Then, so I got this curry paste, which is actually a uh, uh, big jani. You can buy this. But this dish you can make a number of ways. You can use the sambal that we made earlier in the other episodes of uh, Survival Kitchen. But you can also give it a little bit of a Mediterranean touch by using the same uh, produce. Maybe change the pak soy into uh, a little bit of asparagus and use a herb butter or anything to make it more a Mediterranean style. I like it in this case a little bit of an Indian style uh, with a little, well, more fusion because I'm also going to use this beautiful uh, uh, ponzu uh, uh, soy sauce. Um, so, but you can use a little bit of uh, a little bit of wine instead of the soy and a little bit of herb, herb butter. And basically, what we're making is a kind of a papillot. Yeah? So uh, we're going to fold everything together. So we're going to do it right now. doesn't stick to, uh, to the uh, tin foil, very important, you don't want tin foil in your food. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to wrap it up, just like a little bit of uh, early Christmas time, just wrap it up like so, like so, there you go. So it's easy to take off and put on your barbecue, and then it's ready to go. So. That's basically it. Your fish on the barbie. Preheated barbecue. Time to get the fish on. It's perfect with this one. We can actually close it. So there's got to be a lot of heat on the fish, which is perfect. So now we wait and see. And there we go, guys. The fish is ready. Fantastic. So it's time for wine. Life is too short uh, not to drink enough champagne. You should drink a lot of champagne. And this is one of my favorite houses, uh, the house of Tieno, uh, now uh, led by Stanislas uh, Tieno. And uh, nice thing about this wine, uh, uh, winery is that the father of Stanislas used to uh, used to uh, be the middleman for selling the wine properties in the uh, in the champagne, and um, and of course he kept the best. Premier and the first cru uh, uh, and the, uh, the Grand Cru's for himself. Uh, guys, what I think is uh, we should celebrate life, uh, stay healthy. Uh, if you like my videos, please uh, subscribe uh, and see my other videos. I'm going to do some more barbecue videos, of course, with other great wines. For now, stay safe, stay home, and enjoy uh, your dishes. Thank you. See you next time on Survival Kitchen. Thank you.